coming up in tonight's show. We take a look behind the scenes at our sixth form with a video produced by our Year 12 students. We hear what some of our past students went on to do after leaving Stratton Sixth Form. We talk with our heads of sixth form and the school principal. We talk with some of our current Year 12s about their experience at Stratton. We announce the winner of our prize draw competition. And we get a lockdown musical performance from one of our past students. Hello and welcome to the Sixth Form Virtual Options Evening. We will be your hosts this evening as well as head students. So I am Louise. And I'm Lucy. We have some great things in store for you this evening, from live performances to interviews with students both past and present. We'll give you a great insight into what life is like at Stratton Sixth Form. We hope you enjoy the evening. Firstly, we're going to be joined by our heads of Sixth Form, Miss Amys and Mr Clark. So Mr Clark, how, how would you describe the atmosphere within Stratton Sixth Form? Um, I think the atmosphere is a real, we have a real sense of community um, in the sixth form. Um, there's a lot of events that take place um, from charity events to social events mm -hmm. um, to house challenges and we, um, we expect everybody to take a, an active part in those and everybody does. They, they really enjoy the, the, the time spent um, in our common room taking part in those challenges and taking part in the, the different events that are on. Can you describe this event here, please? <laughs> um, this is one of our um, house challenges, um, my successful attempt at world records. Um, but what you can't see in that picture is everybody else that's in the common room. Um, you know, the sense of community in there, the excitement over um, what's <laughs> going to happen, and the, the house points that were on offer for yeah. um, for a successful attempt were, were very much appreciated by everybody that was in there. It was a fantastic day. Brilliant. So, Miss Amys, how do you help students prepare for when they leave sick form? So we look at your pathways and it's really important to mention that we really focus on the individual and it's about what you want to do and what your journey is in, after our sixth form. So the majority of our students move on to university and study and we have a whole programme that we deliver through our study skills sessions um, on supporting you with that application. Um, you guys are the first ones using Unifog this year, aren't you? And I think that's been a really useful platform that we've uh, now got in the school um, to help you with understanding how it works. Um, we obviously do bespoke um, support for those off to Oxbridge applications and our veterinary meds and so on. And then we have the apprenticeship routes and we support throughout through EPQ, making sure if you want to go into an apprenticeship that your EPQ project is kind of valid and is going to work towards that. But yeah, it's all about you and what you want to do and we will help you get there in the way that you need us to support you. And what are your roles as the heads of sixth form? So we're here as your support network. We're here for if you need us with um, to talk about any issues that you've got or any concerns that you've got. We're also here to give you opportunities and to raise those expectations on what you can do and to give you that guidance on all the options available to you. Um, we're here to organise events, as Mr Clark's talked about, and give you those experiences of starting to look independently um, and being prepared for life after sixth form. Um, we've also got our student support officer, Mrs Layton, who's um, the heart of our sixth form and is always there um, whenever anybody needs her. Um, so we're here for you and we can't wait to welcome our next cohort through the doors. Thank you Heads of Sixth Form. So we are now going to watch a behind the scenes videos put together by our media interns and, and it will just give you a, a student's perspective of what life is like within the Stratton Sixth Form. I am really enjoying sixth form and I really enjoyed sort of the more independence that you're given. I think it's like my main advice for people coming up is create sort of time management and use your free. So you've got like free periods and stuff, use them to do your schoolwork because that means you've got more free time at home. So my main advice is really just uh, schedule your time wisely. Uh, 
Um, the main things I expect from sixth form students is for them to be motivated to, um, to work hard and do well, um, to want to be part of our school community um, and to be work, working towards getting some fantastic grades um, and, and grades that they deserve for the, for the amount of work that they've put in. Um, I think I'll probably de describe it in kind of three words, um, diverse, welcoming and high achieving. I know that's four words, but the advice I'd give is to take responsibility for your future um, and be the driving force behind what's going to happen to you. Um, don't just go along with the flow, make sure you've got a dream and that you are working hard every day to, to achieve that dream and seek help and support when you can and when you need it. I am quite happy I picked Stratton, it's a good sixth form, it's also close and I already know quite a few of the teachers and I'm here with all my friends. The difference sort of between GCSE and A level is that it's far more independent, it more relies on you being passionate about the subject and enjoying the subject and taking that time to go above and beyond to get the grades that you wish to achieve when all of that hard work comes to fruition is fantastic and the, uh, the smiles on faces in August when A level and, and level 3 results come out prove that all of that hard work is worth it. Thank you very much to our Year 12 media interns for putting that video together for us and well done to Mr Clark for knowing how to count to three. <laughs> We're now joined by our principal Miss Hodges. So, Miss, what's your vision and ambition for the sixth form? Well, actually, my ambition for all students at Stratton is to complete a five-year journey with us right to the end of year 13, because we know that our students make excellent progress if they stay on with us to the end of year 13. And in fact, actually, we are one of the top performing sixth forms around, and we are, our results put us in the top 20% of schools nationally for progress. Brilliant. And what sort of things do the sixth form students achieve after leaving here? Well, you've probably seen some of the uh, advertising materials, some of the posters that we've had, as well as some of the videos from students tonight. And you can see there's a whole range of really excellent employment opportunities that they go on to achieve, but also going on to amazing universities and, and, and great courses. And we're really proud of that, and we're really proud of what they achieve. And actually, we're quite humbled by the fact that they keep in touch with us and let us know how they're getting on. So hopefully, you've got a real sense and a real flavour of the types of things that people get on to achieve through looking tonight. And why is it, do you think, that students achieve so well after they leave here? Well, obviously, they get great qualifications, and that's not in doubt. But uh, it's more than that. It's about the whole range of extra opportunities and extracurricular activities that are on offer at Stratton. And we insist that people get involved outside of the classroom because it helps to develop confidence, stepping outside of your comfort zone, and developing a whole range of new skills like leadership. And those skills are really important to employers, and they really look for those sorts of things when they are, are, are employing people, not just their qualifications. So I think that's the reason. It's a combination of really good qualifications, but the opportunity to develop a whole wide range of skills that help you in later life. So overall, why would you recommend Stratton Sixth Form to our Year 11s? Well, I think if you've got ambition and you want to succeed, I would definitely recommend Stratton Sixth Form because actually we are the second highest performing sixth form in central Bedfordshire. And in fact, we are the best performing sixth form locally. So if you want to get great results and you want to go on to achieve great things, I would definitely recommend joining Stratton Sixth Form. Thank you so much, Mrs Hodges. So up next, we have a brief overview of the variety of courses that Stratton Sixth Form has to offer. However, if you want more information in detail, then head over to our website at stratton.school. At Stratton, we offer over 25 courses supporting a range of interests and ability. Faculty of Computing and Commerce, Computer Science, OCR A-Level, Information Technology, Pearson B-Tech Extended Certificate, Economics, Pearson A-Level, Financial Studies, LIBF, Business, Pearson BTEC, Health and Social Care, Pearson BTEC Extended Certificate, Faculty of Humanities, Religious Studies, Pearson A Level, Sociology, AQA A Level, Psychology, AQA A Level, History, Pearson A Level, Geography, AQA A-Level Faculty of Mathematics 
Mathematics, Edexcel A-Level, Further Mathematics, Edexcel A-Level. Faculty of Creative Arts, Media Studies, Educast Level 3, Art and Design, Educast A-Level. Performing Arts, OCR Cambridge Technical. Faculty of English and Languages, English Literature, AQA A-Level. English Language and Literature, AQA A-Level. French, AQA A-Level. German, AQA A-Level. Faculty of Science and Technology. Chemistry, OCR A-Level. Biology, OCR A-Level. Physics, OCR A-Level. Food Science and Nutrition, Level 3 Diploma. Faculty of Physical Education, Sport and Physical Activity, OCR Cambridge Technical. And you choose between EPQ Extended Project, AQA Level 3, or Core Mathematics, with AQA Level 3 Certificate. So now we've got Jake and Eleanor, who are past students from 2016. So Eleanor, after being in Stratton 6 form, what did you lead on to do afterwards? So when I finished 6 form, I actually went on to do a degree apprenticeship. So I kind of had the best of both worlds. I got to go to university where I studied business um, at the University of Hertfordshire. And at the same time, I moved around a business called MBBA, working in lots of different areas, getting lots of experience. And then when I finished my degree, I picked my favourite area and that's where I ended up now. So, Eleanor, we actually have the book that you completed as a part of your extended project qualification, your EPQ, while you were at Stratton. And can you tell us a bit about what it was like completing it and how did it help you prepare for uni? I think it was really interesting doing an EPQ because it was very different just from doing my standard A-level subjects. Um, you could pick whatever you wanted to do, so it was very broad and I hadn't really experienced that before. I had to go off and do all of my kinds of research and because of that I got to speak to a lot of charities because I think I did this for charity. Um, got to speak to a lot of other students and teachers. And it really helped me for university because I was able to be independent in my work. And at university, you know, you write things like dissertations and even your coursework. You don't always get such set groups as you do at A level in school. So it really, really helped me with that. Um, and I felt like I was more prepared for university with this bit. Thank you. So, Jake. How did you find the step up from year 11 to year 12 and going into sixth form? Yes, so the step up from uh, year 11 into year 12 and 13 into sixth form, um, it's, it's a considerable step up in that it's a different environment. Um, so when you're in year 11 and you're doing your GCSE uh, exam, for example, um, you're, you, you get a lot of guidance from your teacher and you're, you're told these are your subjects. You get to choose your subjects, but you have core subjects um, which you're which you're required to do, um, and you get a lot of guidance from your teachers, and everything's sort of set out for you. Um, so moving into the sixth form, um, that does change quite considerably, um, mainly in that you get to choose the options that actually interest you, um, and Stratton offers a wide range of subjects, so they do they do tend to um, cater for a lot of different interests. You get to choose your own subjects, which which gets you on the path of where you want to potentially go in the future. Um, but of course, it's important to keep an open mind when you're doing that. Uh, and then equally, another big point um, from moving from year 11 to year 12 is the responsibility that you have to take. Um, so you have to take responsibility for your own work um, and uh, and your own performance. Um, but Stran offers transit form offers a great great. Uh, a great level of guidance and assistance and there's plenty of support in the sixth form whether that's your peers or the teachers or the sixth form team um, to help you to, to get to go to where you want to go um, and then obviously being in the sixth form um, all of this uh, taking responsibility for your own work and being in charge of, of where you're going sets you up for the post uh, sitting life whether that's to university or into, a, into an apprenticeship or straight to work brilliant thank you very much 
So moving on from these past students to some more, we now have some pre-recorded videos made by several other past students talking about how Stratton has helped them get to where they are today. Hey, I'm Toby Milligan. I grew up in Potter and went to Stratton. I had a great time with Stratton and uh, with the support of uh, Stratton Sixth Form, I was able to pursue my ultimate ambition of coming to study at university here in America. Uh, I currently live in New York and as I look back today on my experience with the Sixth Form, I truly say that they were really instrumental in kind of being able to help me achieve what I wanted to achieve. Hi, I'm Charlotte and I went to Stratton Sick Form um, in 2012. Um, Stratton Sick Form really helped me because I was the first person in my family to go to university and so the whole prospect of looking around different unis, choosing the right one for me, getting to grips with like what the courses were all about and which one would suit me, um, all of that was so alien to me um, and my family that the sick form really stepped up and made sure that not only what I was kind of stretching myself and making sure that I was applying to really good courses and um, they also really helped me with things like my um, UCAS applications and my personal reference um, even things like applying to student finance like we literally just didn't know how to do it so um, I really don't think I would have got to uni without them. I really think that my time at Stratton Sick Form set me up for huge amounts of my adult life. Um, I was a head student during my time at sick form, which is something that I took really, really seriously. Um, I had the opportunity to kind of be a bit of a leader, to speak to big groups of people, to um, just really throw myself into the school community. Um, and it meant a couple of things. First of all, that I was so ready to do that when I got to university. Um, and secondly, it just gave me this confidence that I don't think I ever would have had um, at that stage, like at the end of year 11, when you're thinking of applying to sick forms. Hi, my name's Emma Hobbs and I went to Stratton Upper Sixth Form back in uh, 2009 to 2011. Um, I'm now a senior commercial sales exec for ITV, uh, which basically means I uh, am the annoying person that puts all the adverts in between each programme that everyone now fast forwards through. I loved Sixth Form when I was at Stratton. I had such a good time uh, doing my subjects. At Sixth Form I did English, French, History and Media and then went on to study History at University. Um, Sixth Form teachers gave me great advice when I was applying for university um, and really helped me along with my applications. My lessons were really informative, loved the teachers, got on really well with all of the staff, had great trips as well. I even got to go to LA for uh, my media A-level which actually inspired me to go back there again um, earlier this year when I went travelling for five months. Um, so yeah, I would just really recommend going to Stratton Sick Form. There's such good staff there and they really look out for you. Hi, my name is Jake and uh, I went to Stratton and now I'm an apprentice emergency medical technician for East of England Ambulance Service. I did um, bas I played basketball, I did after school basketball and after school badminton while I was at Stratton. Um, that just, I was into sport before but it just kind of like snowballed and I got really into sport. But the theory is really where I, what I really enjoyed and that correlates a lot into what I do now and I wouldn't have expected just the sheer amount of uh, knowledge that I learned at Stratton to be transferable to what I'm learning now, like it's exact and it really helped me with my first exam on my course now because um, it was just the same stuff. So it really meant I could relax on my course a little bit and uh, kind of take it all in rather than having to cram revise because I already knew it from Stratton. Hi, I'm Beth and I went to Stratton Sixth Form. Stratton helped me on my journey to study medicine. From reading my personal statement to helping me attain work experience, Stratton always provided me with the advice and support necessary to be where I am today. Now I'm working as a junior doctor. I want you to know that whatever your endeavours, Stratton will do its best to help you get where you need to be.
Hello, my name is Taylor and I used to go to Stratton Sixth Form. The Sixth Form were a big part of my journey towards becoming a vet. Whether it was reading my personal statement, helping me with extracurricular activities, or just providing encouraging words that I could do it, they were always there to support me. I'm now three months into my career as a mixed vet. Hi, I'm Yudrish and I'm going to be talking through my experience at Stratton. Stratton Upper School was actually recommended to my parents as a high performing school with great facilities and on both of those accounts I was not disappointed. I will be continuing my studies at the University of Cambridge and there is no doubt that my teachers played a huge role in the success of my results. So I'm very grateful for that. Finally, I just want to say that I hope you find your place at Stratton and that if you do come, you enjoy it as much as I did. Thank you for listening. We're now joined by two of our Year 12 students, Daisy and Ben. So, Firstly, what were your first impressions of the school like and why did you choose Stratton? Um, so I chose Stratton because it was familiar to me and I knew that the sit form was good um, and it was really good for the subjects that I'm taking. Um, and my first impressions was that it was going to be a lot more independent for us, but I really enjoy it. Um, I chose it because I went to the upper school and it was the local sit form to me. Um, and my first, uh, first impressions of it was that it was like going to be very daunting to go into because although it's the same school, it's like a new space and new expectations for us. And, but I remember when I got there, it was very welcoming. Everyone was getting on what they needed to do. Everyone sort of included everyone. It was really good. So how are you finding your subjects and the step up from GCSEs? I'm really enjoying my subjects. So I take English Literature, History and Biology and I find that they're a lot more in-depth but also a lot more interesting than the GCSE ones so I'm really enjoying them. Um, at first I definitely found the workload very overwhelming um, but once I understood how to manage my time properly and use my freeze well it was so much more manageable. And you then? Yeah, um, I found it was a lot based, like a lot more based on the um, independent study and the homework side of things. Um, it's a lot more based on like you've got to get it all done, and if it's not done in GCSE, it was just like get it done for next time. But if you've not got it done now, the whole lesson doesn't make sense, and you're sort of on your own. Um, so it really motivates you to use your free periods and get everything done on time and to a good standard. Yeah, three periods are very important. Well, thank you very much, Daisy and Ben, for chatting with us. Thank you. Don't forget that you can find out more information on our sixth form and the courses we offer on our website, stratton.school. At Stratton, we offer a foundation course, which is a programme of Level 2 courses. It includes Business, Pearson Level 2 BTEC, Work Skills, Pearson BTEC, and Lessons in Financial Education, LIBF Certificate. Students take part in work experience to help further their studies, with the option to retake Mathematics, AQA GCSE, and English, AQA GCSE. We are now going to be talking to Nick, who will be joining us live in the studio. Nick left here in 2009 and since then has been going on to perform in many locations locally. So Nick, you left here in 2009, but can you describe what your experiences were like while you were here in sixth form? Uh, I think outside of the three years of university, it was probably the best two years of my life, to be honest. Um, the memories that I've got. Uh, amazing memories that I mean, I'm still friends with a lot of the people I met, I met in sixth form from either the year above, the year below, and, and in my year, it was kind of a great sort of connection between everyone. But it also set you up sort of for university um, and actually for work, really, because it, they, they give you the ownership to kind of take over what you need to do to get to where you need to be. It's down to you, really. You, you don't have as many teachers breathing down your neck, oh, we need this in, we need this in, we need this in. You become more of an adult to know what needs to come in when, and that's kind of what it prepares you for when you go into work or when you go into university or whatever you choose to do afterwards. It's a good building block for that. And I think 
if I'd have left school, I am just talking for myself. I know, I know many people that left school and didn't go to, to sixth form, but I found, and I know a lot of my friends did, that by going to sixth form, it does get you set up, ready, and it's less of a, you know, mm-hmm. when you step into the work life or the university life. What subjects did you take and how did they help you in the future? Uh, I took... Um, I've been trying to remember because I believe it was a long time ago, but I, <laughs> yeah. took, um, I took media. And media was probably the main one for me that kind of got me going, right, this is going to kind of give me a focus of what I want to do, really, because um, it kind of just like, just answered so many doors, opened so many doors for me, answered so many questions, really. Um, and that was, I went on to do that for a degree um, with a plan of getting into marketing from that and using the, the skills of from the communication side of everything to move into marketing and actually I tried marketing but I've moved into sales now which is kind of the same thing really marketing sales on paper essentially um so yeah I think by going to six form it kind of made me realize what I wanted to do because quite frankly when I at year 11 I didn't know what I wanted to do you know and that's kind of what six form did for me it was media um that really kind of open the door really um, and then also so that kind of got my creative juices flowing which got the music side starting to think about music and all that kind of stuff which is kind of what I do as a side thing now really. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thank you Nick. We're actually going to have a live performance from Nick in a few minutes but while we give him a few minutes to set up um, year 11 it's time to announce the winners of the competition so as you know if you scan your pass then you were entered into a competition to win a £25 Amazon voucher um, you'll now be able to see the winning number on the screen. If this is your number, then head over to the Year 11 hub to collect your Amazon voucher. So now hopefully Nick has his guitar ready to perform for us. Uh, we hope you have found this evening useful. And if, if you want any more information, then you can head over to our website at stratton.school. So now Nick can play us out. So yeah, thank you for... Um asking me to do this again. Um, I thought I'd do this song because it's kind of all about friendship and um, I gained a lot of friends in sixth form so it's um, kind of act really. So, song by the Beatles. What do you think if I sang out you would you stand up and walk out on me? Let me and I'll sing you a song and I'll try not to sing out of key I'll get by with your help from my friend I'll get by with your help from my friend I'm going to try with your help from my friend What do I do if I sing
very much and I wish you all the luck for the future. Thanks, cheers guys.